<coughs> Hello, this is Shesha Chalam from Ashwagat Mysore. So today we are going through Atma Karaka Yogas. So this is one of the yogas of the Atma Karaka, which gives extraordinary placement of a person in good government posts, highly influenced in the government and uh, you know having a lot of influential power with the government or is in the government itself. So, <clears throat> Atma Karaka is in the own house or exaltation sign or own sign, own house or it is called own sign. So, what is an Atma Karaka? Atma Karaka is a planet with the highest degree. So, Atma Karaka. So, where it should be in highest degree? Whether it should we see it from 0 degree Aries or it should be seen within a Rashi. So, it is highest degree in any given Rashi. Rashi or what we call a sign. So, it should be in its own house, own sign or in the exaltation sign. So, let us take an example. So, the example what I will take today is Jupiter. Jupiter gets exalted here, but the exaltation strength is very less when the, because it gets exalted at 5 degrees. So, the exaltation strength is less. If I take Jupiter as an example, so let us take some other planet which is really gets exalted with a higher degree. So that planet which gets exalted with a higher degree will be Venus. So let us take Venus here. Let us put it at around 25 degrees. So it gets exalted at 27 degrees, I think 27 or 28 degrees because Mars and Venus both have one degree difference 27 and 28 degrees. So, we will take Venus at 25 degrees here. So, let us say Venus is the Atma Karaka. Venus is the Atma Karaka for the chart. So, Atma Karaka in the sign of exaltation, excellent, which is also a quadrant or a trine. So, quadrant means it should be in 1, 4, 7, 10 or trine means it should be in 1, 5, 9 from a given ascendant. So, we will take this particular ascendant, Virgo and the ascendant degree is extremely important to understand whether the Atma Karaka is in a quadrant. So, why is it important? Let us check. So, let us take the ascendant as being at 5 degrees. See the ascendant point, Lagna. If it is at 5 degrees, if I take the midpoint bhava equal bhava method, midpoint equal bhava method, then what actually happens is, so 5 degrees is the midpoint and you take 15 degrees on either side, so 20 degrees here and going back, it would be 20 degrees of Leo, so this whole thing will be 30 degrees, so that is 10 degrees of Leo, remaining 10 degrees of Leo because 20 degrees has elapsed, 10 degrees of Leo and 5 degrees become 15 degrees. So, that is the midpoint and then from there 15 degrees. So, it is 20 degrees. So, 20 degrees of Virgo and 10 degrees of Leo, this becomes the first house. So, if it is 5 degrees, then very clearly, very clearly, Venus does not come or is not placed in the seventh house from the ascendant at all. So why? Because the cutoff point itself is at 20 degrees and Venus is after that. So, let us say, Venus is after that. It is somewhere at 25 degrees here. Venus is at 25 degrees. So, if this is the seventh house, because the 5 degree point will become the midpoint. So, now without knowing the degree of the ascendant, I simply keep telling that. Venus is in the 7th house, Venus is in the 7th house, it is not in the 7th house, 
it has gone to the eighth house. So now let us change the perspective now. So let us make this Atma Karaka have less degrees. So let us say Venus is the Atma Karaka anyway at 18 degrees. So let us say all other planets are less than 18 degrees in the chart. So Venus becomes the Atma Karaka very much near to exaltation and is in the seventh house because it is within the bracket and this satisfies the first rule. It should be conjunct and aspected by the ninth lord. Here the ninth lord itself is Venus. So this is also agreeable. It should be conjunct and aspected by Venus. So this particular yoga exists for this lagna and this chart. So let us take another example to understand more clearly. So let us say that we have an exaltation of uh, a planet. Let us, we'll take Mars. We have uh, the lenience of it gets exalted and very near to its exaltation point. So we'll put it at 27 degrees here in Capricorn and <coughs> we will take a uh, ascendant which will actually satisfy this in a strong way. So, taking the ascendant at 20 degrees so that we know that now 20 degrees means it is 10 plus 5, 15 degrees on the right side and 5 degrees that is 20 minus 15 on the left side. So 15 degrees here and 15 degrees here. So 5 degrees is the cutoff point. So we can take this 5 degrees here. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. We'll take the 5 degrees here and 5 degrees here. So this is the house and we know that Mars is at 27 degrees in this place. So very much it is in the Kendra 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10th. So it is in the 10th house. So very strongly posited in the 10th house. So it is in the Kendra, the rule satisfies. Then we need to see the 9th Lord. The 9th Lord is Jupiter. So it has to be conjunct. That is Jupiter should be placed along with it or aspected by Jupiter. So let us put Jupiter here. So it aspects. So again Jupiter in this place, it aspects. The fifth aspect, the seventh aspect and the ninth aspect. But again for aspect, we need to see the placement of the aspecting planet and its degree. So if Jupiter is placed at 2 degrees here, so if it is placed at 2 degrees here, where is it aspecting? It is aspecting 2 degree point in Capricorn. 2 degree point, 7, 8, 9. So it is aspecting the 2 degree point in Capricorn. So you, you, If you see the aspect ratio, it should be 270 degrees. So it is exactly coming and aspecting the midpoint. You have to remove that 15 degrees and then check. It is a 2 degree point here. So, it's of no use because it doesn't aspect. The difference is around 25 degrees. 27 minus 2, minus 2 degrees. That is of Mars and this is of Jupiter. You get 25 degrees. The orb of influence of Mars is 7 degrees. The orb of influence of Jupiter is 9 degrees. So, when I put a Venn diagram, they will not touch each other. There is a lot of difference in between. So, there is no, not much of an influence at all. So, we need to see, let us say Jupiter was at 20 degrees. So, then it will come and fall into the orbit of, that is the orb of influence. So, it will be hitting here, 20 degrees. So, the difference will be 27 minus 20 degrees is equal to 7 degrees, very much within the orb of influence. The 9 degree Jupiter and 7 degrees Mars. So, this gives a lot of uh, value to the 
chart. Why? Because you have a strong ninth lord aspecting the Atma Karaka and it gives rise to a very strong Atma Karaka Yoga which is stronger than a Raja Yoga. It's a very strong Yoga because these people are like ministers. They become like divans. They are very, very influential people in the society. So, if one has to have this Yoga, the luck, the Yoga of luck and getting the favor or getting that, you know, being fortunate, he needs to, one has to go through the chart and see the degrees. So, if you, you know, it looks like a little complicated, messy, but this is how you need to study a chart. Go deep into the chart and understand where the planet is posted. Simply, if you keep telling that, people, you know, planets are conjunct, you know, one will be at one degree, the other one will be at 29 and a half degrees. They are not conjunct at all. They are very far away from each other. They don't have any influence on each other. So, that is how a yoga has to be seen. Thank you very much for today's class.